امام بزار امام حاکمین از مستدرف who makes it صحیح حدیث صحیح has mentioned this from حضرت جابر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سے نبی علیہ السلام came with me we went out with نبی علیہ السلام and he said یا ایوہ الناس او پیپل اِنَّا لِلَّهِ سَرَائِيَ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Indeed Allah has a group of angels who do save, who go and travel in the dunya. A group of people who travel in the dunya, and angels who travel in the dunya. And the only reason why they were created was to go and find the majlis of dhikrullah. To go find the people who do dhikr. This is the only reason. Majlis of dhikr, the hadith mentions the word. مجالس ذکر فی الارض فرتعو فی ریاض الجنہ نبی علیہ السلام سے اس گو ان سپین ٹائمز ان دی گارڈنز آف جنت وہ آر دی گارڈنز آف جنت وہ اس نبی علیہ السلام سائنگ دیز آر دی گارڈنز آف جنت دی گارڈنز آف جنت نبی علیہ السلام اس سائنگ اس مجالس ذکر دیز مجالس آف دی ذکر اللہ دیس دیس اس وہ سکوئن تو بی the thing that will remind you of paradise. This is what Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned. And Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam says, فَرْتَعُوا فِي رِيَازِ الْجَنَّةِ And go and spend your time in the gardens of paradise in this world. Sahaba asked, Ya Rasulullah, what are these gardens in the dunya which are of paradise? وَأَيْنَ رِيَازُ الْجَنَّةِ Nabi alayhi salam says, مَجَالِكُ ذِكَرْ The gardens of paradise in the dunya are those gardens are those majlis and gatherings where the dhikr of Allah is occurring, where you remember God. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, فَقْدُوا وَرُوهُ فِي ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Go and spend time with this. In another hadith, in Muslim and Hakim, Abu Hurair radiyallahu anna rif, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ إِنَّ لِلَّهِ مَلَائِكَةٌ سَيَّارَةٌ وَفُدَلَا يَلْتَبِسُونَ مَجَالِسَ الزِّكْرِ فِي الْعَرْضِ Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has malaika who do say of the dunya. They go and, and, and look. He has angels who go and find the majalis of zikr. The gatherings of, of the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when these angels find these groups of people, then these angels spread their wings amongst them. And Allah Almighty says, the rahmat of Allah descends on these people. The mercy of Allah comes on the people who do the remembrance of Allah. The mercy descends on them. Sakina, peace, tranquility comes upon these people. And it continues. Man, min aina jittu, where have you come from? Jitna min inda abdika, yusabbihunaka wa yukabbirunaka. Allah Almighty asks them, where have you come from? They say, we have come from those group of people, those ubad, who remembered you. Who used to sit and remember about you. The one who created, who you created. And Allah Almighty then asks them, Mayas Alun, what are they asking? Do they ask anything from me? Allah is asking the angels. These people sit in this majlis and they only ask for paradise. Allah Almighty says, Wahal ra'awhu ra'awha. And how would they been had they seen me? Jannah, how, what's the kaifiyat of these people? And have they seen Jannah? Allah Almighty says, no. The angels say, Ya Allah, these people have not seen you. They've not seen Jannah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, how would it be, had they seen Jannah? What's the kaifiyat of these people, had they seen paradise? And they said, Yastakhirun, Yastajirun. They would have been doing shukr and, and thanking you. And then Allah says, what about hellfire? Had they seen the hell? And this angel said, they would do istighfar and they would ask for refuge from it. And then Allah Almighty says, be, be witness, I have forgiven all these people. Those who sit to remember Allah, I've forgiven them. And these angels were only created to go and find these majalis and these people. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in another hadith mentioned in Muslim and Tirmizi, Imam Abu Hurair radiallahu and Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu ma'nare. Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam mentioned this hadith. مَا مِنْ قَوْمٍ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا خَفَّتْ هُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ 
that there is no majlis who does the zikr of Allah except that the angels go and shake that majlis. They go and be part of that majlis. And the rahmat of Allah descends on these people who do the zikr of Allah. And sakina and peace and tranquility comes on these people. They find that satisfaction in their hearts. And Allah Almighty mentions and the zikr of these people. There's a beautiful ayat in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that isn't it with the remembrance of Allah that the hearts find satisfaction. The state we live in today, how people have become embroiled in money, how people have become embroiled in crime. This is the sad state that we are in. And people find satisfaction, in particular the youth, in going and destroying cars, destroying buildings. We find satisfaction in this, the youth find it. They also find satisfaction in abusing drugs. I'm talking to the younger brothers here. To abuse drugs. Allah Almighty, those who believe, we as Muslims believe in God Almighty. We believe He exists. We believe in His oneness. And we also believe in the, the book that He's revealed on His most noble messenger, Allah Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah be continuously send salutations upon Him. We believe in Him. And we also believe in the book that was revealed upon him, the Al-Qur'an al kareem The book for 1400 years, not one letter has been changed for. 1400 years have passed and this book has never changed. Countless number of Mus'hafs are sitting here. Allah challenges those people who don't believe. God challenges them and says, If you have doubt in my kitab, فَأْتُ بِسُورَةٍ مِنْ مِثْلِي Bring a surah like this then. Bring something like my Quran. Those who don't believe have tried abundantly. But that trying will never come to be a success. As Allah Almighty says, I do the hifadat of the Quran. I reveal the dhikr, the Quran, and I will do the hifadat. In the Quran, Allah tells you, Allah bi dhikri Allahi tatma inna al People, isn't it? The remembrance of Allah that gives you satisfaction. It's not the properties that you are buying. It's not the money that you are lost in. This is not satisfaction for you. This is extra test. Every night you're going to sleep thinking, what if this house of my, my business, I've got to wake up early. No time to do the dhikr of Allah, companion. But people find it difficult. Why? No one has motivation. If the fathers cannot come to the masjid, at least send your children. At least send them, let us educate the children on what they're going to learn. That's the future. Be instill into your children the mahabba and the love to remember Allah. We don't want to instill this. From a young age, we want to instill them into properties. I have a friend in Bradford, <laughs> a very good friend of mine, same age as me, 20 years old, 21 years old. And one of my friends said that all he ever talks about is properties. He's 20 years old and he talks about property. And I asked my friend and he's very experienced and I said, why do they talk like this? And he says, because their fathers talk like this. And if their fathers talk like this, the sons begin to inherit it. If the fathers talked about dhikr and namaz and roza and sadaqah and hajj, the children will begin to talk about us. But we are embroiled in, into a time now where we find it difficult to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Too many distractions inside us. And sometimes we, we put these distractions into our lives. We want to be embroiled into our cars, money, drugs, illegal sexual intercourse, drinking, alcohol. We want to be embroiled into this. We want to do this. The youth find this attractive. All I ask you is these are the things which make crimes rampant. When one gets drunk, what happens? One begins to get rampant in these things. When one smokes and, and he's, he's stoned and he has no senses, he begins to commit crime. There's no hope for that person. But we ask you on a Friday, one hour, come to remember Allah. And you'll see slowly, 
you know, this piece of flesh which, which is valuable inside you, the heart, the qalb. When you polish this, the Billy Salam says, everything has a polish. You know, your cars, the windows, it has a polish. You know, your worktops in your kitchen, it has a polish, Mr. Singh. And the, and the heart, Nabi Alayhi Salaam says, the heart, it has a polish. And the polish of the heart is when you remember God, when you remember Allah. لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ سُقَالَ وَسَقَالَةُ الْقَلْبِ ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ Everything has a polish, and the polish of the heart.